Hey everyone. Now sometimes if you're using the computer to make a call, you might want to record that. The thing is, when you record something on the computer, you usually have to decide which is the sound source, which is the input that you want to record. Now generally when I'm recording things, and for those programs to set up the source, I set up the microphone because that's the sound input. But the sound output would be the speakers, and that's what the other end would be coming out of, and I want to record that too. So I'm going to show you how I set this up with Pulse Audio on Linux here to record both ends of the conversation. Okay, so what I'm going to do is run PACTL to look at Pulse Audio stuff. And what I'm going to do first is list the sources. Now if I, the sources, if I list that, it's going to look big and ridiculous, but you'll see they all have a name. So what I'm going to do is just pipe that to grep just for name. Now I'm going to come back to that, but for now what I'm going to do is also show you the sinks. Now a sink is something that takes the sound rather than supplies it. So, you know, it goes to a sink. And I'm just going to grip the name again. So, here's what, here are the outputs that I can select from, and here are the inputs. So for the output, it says microphone, but that's actually because the microphone is a sound card that you can plug headphones into too. So it can be a sound output. This analog stereo is the phono jack on the computer, that's the one I actually use. And the other one is the HDMI that could come out through the monitor. Now what you'll notice is every one of these that, that exist as a sync, they have a corresponding source up here with a dot monitor after it. So that HDMI stereo, there's also an HDMI stereo monitor. Analog stereo, analog stereo monitor. So that would be monitoring what comes out of the computer. And of course this one might confuse you, but that's the audio out of the microphone being set as a monitor when I find it. That one up here. So disregard that. What I really want to do though, is have this as the source, because that's my microphone. See it says input right here? Right? I want that microphone that goes into the computer, and I want this output to go to a new device. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to load a module. You can press tab here and it auto completes it. Module null sync. And I'm going to give it a name called custom null sync. And I'm going to give it properties device description. This is the easy to read one. I'm just going to call it custom. Okay, so I've just made a custom sync there. So if I do PACTL list syncs, grab name, you'll see it there as a custom sync. Now if I go PACTL list sources, you'll see that it automatically made a dot monitor one for the source. So there's nothing about this yet, it's not attached to anything, it's just defined. So for every sync that's defined, there's also a corresponding monitor that's defined for a source. Okay, so keep that in mind. So now what I want to do is I'll just go back and list sources. That name. The one I want is the microphone, not the monitor one, the microphone. So that's the one I want as a source. So what I'm going to do is go PACTL, load module, module loopback, and make the source equal to that lot there that I just copied. And the sync is going to be custom null sync. There it is. Now what I want to do is get the sound card out. So again, if I go to list the sources, it's the source which is the monitor of the analog stereo output. So that analog output monitor is what I'm going to use as the source as well. It's the same as I did before, PACTL, load module, module loopback, module loopback. Source this time is that. That's the one I just highlighted there. And again, the sync is custom null sync. Okay, so there that is. So now I've got those two mapped to that custom null sync. So when I do PACTL list sources, yet again, rep name, this custom null sync monitor will include the microphone going in and the stereo coming out. So that'll contain both ends of the conversation. Okay, now to record that, you could use uh, PA record, which is Pulse Audio Record. And what you want to do here is set the device equals custom null sync dot monitor. Just call it channels equals two. File format equals flac, just keep it flac for now. And give it a, I don't know, test name dot flac. Okay, so what I'll do now is play some music there and I'll keep talking here. And what, you should, what should come through is the audio from that 
and also this microphone here, which is what I'm going to dub over here instead of this microphone. So there it is as an example. So now if I play that, test name, and I'll keep talking here, and what you should, what should come through is the audio. They're both there. And also this microphone here, which is what I'm going to dub over here instead of this microphone. So there it is as an example. Okay, so that worked. Now one thing you've got to be careful of is the audio level because it's just going to get whatever's going to the output. So I'll show you that now. So in the output devices, what you want to do, you'll see that custom one is here. Just go into it and put that volume all the way up. See how the volume's up? If I go to a different one, let's say, I don't know, the microphone one, it'll have a different volume setting. See that's at about half, but if I go to the custom one, it's, it keeps it setting up at full. So just make sure that custom one's full because that'll just copy whatever you're doing. If the audio from your normal sound card is down lower, that'll reflect because it's just getting 100% of what you're sending it. So you always want to have that full. Now I just used that to record before, that, that command there. But if you want, you could do something like um, call it pulse record and then put a little bit of a suffix on the end. So run the date command plus give it some sort of um, format here, year, month, day, underscore, hour, minute, second. Just do something like that. Oop, that dot flack. So when I run that, you'll see what happens is it made a file, start up flack. You'll see it made a file called pulse record and then the current time. So it just makes it easier for finding stuff. Okay, so now I'll give it a real world test and give someone a bell on the old um, Skype. See what happens. Should be coming through. Let's catch her off guard here. She's not expecting this. Oh. Hello. Hello. Can can you hear, can you hear me? Of course you can. I can hear you. I have to warn you. This recording's been recorded for YouTube entertainment purposes. Okay. So don't say anything about anything. <laughs> um. So just keep that shit to yourself that we spoke about at the time. Okay. All right. All right. I think that'll do um, for you. I think that's about enough anyone would want to hear from you. Yes, obviously. Yep, I think that's so. good. I hope I helped you get your recording. Yeah. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. All right. So if I play that back, both ends of the conversation should be there. Let's have a look, eh? Let's just uh, look right this second. M player, that would be this one. I'll be quiet. Let's fast forward. I can hear you. Oh, you have to warn you, this recording's been recorded. There you go. So, wrong microphone. So, <laughs> that's that. That's a way to, um, you know, record both ends of the conversation for times when you might need to do that. So, anyway, that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy.